Dude. What the fuck? Can you believe this, guys? Like... This is poor maintenance. This way, this way you're talking about. This is poor maintenance. Look at this. The brake shoe is crazy, bro. Look at this one. Cookie Monster just took a bite of fucking brake shoe. I'm pretty sure I've been searching and searching on YouTube just to get more info how to uh, remove the rotor and to change the brake shoes out of it. And I'm was googling if. The R spec has brake shoes. I'm assuming they do. Anyways, it's cold out here. It's cold. I'm back. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Anyways, let's get back to this mess that I have here. I don't have a table. I don't have a garage. I'm trying to make, trying to organize myself, but as you can see, it's a mess. So today, this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install. A new rotors. I I ain't bought one. Of, I, I haven't bought the same R1 concept. It's all right. It lasted for two years, and the other day I couldn't go to work uh, because my car didn't want to go nowhere. Basically, it just, I was trying to drive and doesn't want to. It just gets stuck. So I was searching. At night, I mean, well, in the morning, at four o'clock in the morning, that's why that's the time I, I I go to work. So I was looking at the rotors. It was so rusted because it rained the other day. So I don't know how that will affect that. I'm, I don't know, but I saw the rotors was so rusted. I was like, oh, come on, bro. Like really? So I was putting brake cleaning or that. It worked a little bit, but um still had that effect i'm gonna change this this is done i bought the dural s <laughs> autozone from autozone i uh, bought some rotors brake shoes and i'm waiting for a fedex delivery one of those um hardwares the e-brake hardware as you can see i'm gonna change those i haven't seen this in youtube this will, this will be interesting and this is gonna be fun because i don't know what the i'm doing all right <laughs> What is this? Alone. I'm alone again. I tried to call Alex so, so he could help me out. But he's busy. I call my cousin. He's busy. Nobody want to help the poor Freddy. This is so disgusting too. I'm going to show you guys. Like all this. So nasty. I'm going to change this. The hardware. That. That. And the bottom. Of course. And actually, also, I'm gonna change the hub to a brand new hub. It's just fucking rusted. I'm gonna change the brake pads. I got the brake shoes, the all the brand new rotors all around. Got the hook pads, the HP Plus. Already 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's cold. Actually, I just noticed that I had to remove the axle nut, and I don't have the right size. It's a 32. I don't have a 32. So I need to do something. Hopefully Alex could respond back. Maybe he could just lend me that socket. If not, I had to put this up. Just, I, I, had, I think I had to leave just like this. I had, I had to leave my car like this and go to AutoZone and get me a 32. Oh crap, the neighbor's coming, the neighbor's coming, the neighbor's coming. Look at that, he always talks a lot. I'm trying to spray all this with simple green. Also the black brand bolts. Let that soak in. I went to AutoZone. I forgot that I did not have, I have a needle nose and a small fly head. I was messing around with it. And this was attached to this across. So I just keep on moving it, moving it, making it straight. So I could just pull it out. So messed up now. But, uh, so it was like a cross, if you like that. I removed the pin. Now I need to remove the axle nut. Yes, I went to the AutoZone. I did not have a, a axle nut, so an axle nut socket. So I had to purchase one. And also, they only have a 12 point. 
a 12 point and I needed a 6 point but that's what they have that's all they have so I needed to I had to uh, I, was, I was looking for it see 12 point but I just don't want to strip the bolt I mean the nut but that's the only thing they have so I'm gonna try my best not to mess messing around with it but bring these socket back and make sure go to Harbor Fry get me a 6 point <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry guys. I just removed this axle nut. I want you to check this out. So I'm just showing you and there's no damage if you use a torque point. Now you have a washer here. Of course I have to take this out. See? Now I'm gonna go to the back. I know there's like four bolts. You see that bolt? There's another bolt there somewhere. If you can see it, it's too dark. You can see it. There's one. And the last one. Okay, there's the brake shoes. The model zone. Let's see something. Let me open up. One. And I'm still waiting for products. If you guys are wondering, this is the part number. Uh, I'd rather just get this one, you get warranty. Bracket here. As you can see, it's nasty. I got something to sc scrub it with. You have a um, 3F? Yeah, I just left it in front of your door. Uh, okay, I needed that part. <laughs> Thank you. Got my package. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. I'm here. So now I got the hardware. I got everything set up. Got the rotors and the brake shoes, the hubs, brake pads. Got the, all the hardware. As you can see, I just removed the spring. It was right here connected to each hole so basically I removed this spring I removed it with the plier I just set up my hardware the way it's supposed to be underneath that's the big the long one so I'm here the, as you can see the red ones supposed to be here each side it's not that bad that would be kind of difficult but it's not this guy over here doesn't want to come out as you can see here I just figure out something uh, instead of taking this out because I think this is gonna come out by itself so instead of messing around with this one it was as you can see this little gear it was it was in locking position so I was like unscrewing it just like this and then it just came out I was pushing this side, right? You see? Came out. So it was like this. So put it the way it is. The way it was. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Coming mad late. Shoot. He could have he could if he couldn't come like at least five minutes early, he could have found that that parking spot. He could have hold it down for me. So I don't have to look for parking. That's my cousin by the way. That's Ken. He's gonna help me out. And he's gonna start the other side and see what I'm doing and speed the process because I cannot stay here. Even though he is late. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Yeah, don't worry, take your time. Take your time, take your time, take your time. You know, I got the whole time in the world Look at him. And he's gonna ask me, hey, what you doing, cousin? Hey, man, what you doing? What you, how far did you get? Disassemble. Oh, wow, oh, wow. you almost done. That's beautiful, bro. It's good, it's good. I like it. Check on this guy. How are you gonna take that out? Okay, sir. So, first, you gotta take the bolts back up back here. One, two, what is it, 17? Oh, okay. What is it? 17. Okay, 17. Oh, 17. 
pops out, or whatever, and then yeah, so we got this. around the other side and I'm gonna give you an example how would you be able to unlock the spring I didn't have that idea but my cousin did he's behind the camera he told me push it right imagine you could do it in once let me see can I it worked oh shit it's cool but anyways what we did is to push this spring. Oh, okay. Push the spring, right? And then, of course, you need another guy, or maybe you can multitask. Get another needle nose, right? Grab that sucker in and twist it. There you go. Come out. See? Twist it and align it. And align it. As you can see, there's a gap between it. So just picture it. Let me take this out. So I could give you an example. It was like this. It was locked. Right? Of course you cannot take it out. So you have to press that spring in, twist it, and you unlock it. There you go. Our first video, how to remove your brake shoe. So as you can see, the new hardware from AutoZone. I got the grease, and I'm gonna show you guys how to install it. But first, I'm gonna change the hub. Let's get another, another one. This is the move that I purchased from Advanced Auto. Uh, if you want the part number, this is for the rear. And that's the part number. I'm guessing it's the same number, is it? Yeah, same number, same part number. So, I already changed in the front, and this is gonna be the rear. <laughs> he got tired. Also, I'm gonna change the brake pads, the Hawk brake pads, the H, what is it, HP, HP Plus? How funny that works. What you think? Now, I have a proper tool to remove these springs. Before the other, you know the previous videos, as you can see, I didn't have this tool. I got this from Amazon. It doesn't cost much. Well, I paid for this for $17.99. It comes with a whole kit. And I didn't know Hobby Fright has that too, but it costs more like 20, something like that. But hey, it comes with the whole kit. It came with the, the clamp to remove the springs and all that such stuff. As you can see, it's not there no more, right? I, re I already removed it. And you have to use two hands, of course, and to hold the pin and then release it. I got this from AutoZone. It's not that bad. It doesn't cost as much. $7. Uh, why not, right? A couple new pins. Okay, so now you have to hold that and then put the spring and you need this guy, right? Hold on. Let me sit down because I'm uncomfortable. I'm like over here crunching. There you go. All right, now I'm feeling comfortable. Where are you? There you go. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Easy. So basically, I'm doing the same thing as the other side, so I don't have to show you. <laughs> Since my e-brake wasn't working, uh, since I'm here, 
I need a flathead. I left the flathead at home. And I'm near AutoZone, I could buy one, but I don't wanna leave my tools here all alone. As you can see, this spring was so flushed, so now it's spreading. So now you know that it's locking. So you're stretching this spring to be out. And now I'm gonna show you guys the new rotor that I purchased. Previous, I was showing you guys um, the AutoZone part, and for some reason, it just squeaking. The brake is new. I mean, the brakes is new. I purchased that on GenRacer.com. I purchased the Hawk Plus, HP Plus, and the brakes is very good. But the, once I keep breaking it, it just squeaks. So. Um, I don't know. I don't think that's the purpose that was keep on squeaking, but I'm just, I'm trying to show you guys if it stops squeaking and then I can give you a review afterwards. So yeah, so this is the brand new R1 Concepts. Um, I purchased the black ones, because as you can see, it's all rusted out. So I'm trying to avoid that again. Uh, that's why I purchased the black ones. So I want to see this next time. Cleaner. I just borrowed this. See, I'm going up, so I'm locking it. Okay, perfect. Good. And that's about it. You already know what to do. All right, guys, so I'm going to tell you this. These past three months or four months, something like that. I've been driving like that without proper parts and also, you know, installing it. But, bro, if you're going to finish, if you're going to do a job, finish it the proper way. <laughs> but anyways, but I'm just going to sign this out. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you again for guys for subscribing us and also, I'm just tired. Yeah. Peace.